In this video, we're going to look at some of the CAD features within Business Center that are new to the recent releases. In this CSV file, we see we have a range of points. We have the point code, and then we have the easting, northing, and elevation. This is common to get data in this format in a survey. So we can then import this information into Business Center, and from that we can then see where we have our various points on the job. Um, previously to join these points together it was a matter of zooming in and manually joining those points along the line. Here we can see someone has surveyed around a cul-de-sac so we can simply create a line string here by connecting the points. So this will connect the points in numerical order. We could give the line a name, put it on a layer and here we're just going to select all our points, push apply, and we now see we have the cul-de-sac has been uh, converted into one solid line string. So quite simple to do. If there was a break in the numbers, so you had measured other lanes, for example, on the cul-de-sac, it would be a matter of either creating one line and then breaking to separate out the other line work or uh, knowing what the point numbers are so that you can then go and uh, create multiple lines in their various order. Another common issue with CAD data is that you can get a lot of layers within your file. So there's a feature within Business Center. If I go into Layer Options, we can then go down here and create view filter groups. So basically here I can create groups for, let's say, design data, uh, existing, and utilities. Now if I then go back and <clears throat> look at some of our information here, so our commercial pads will be on the design layer, so I could change that here to be on our design. And what that does is it creates a new group out here. We see the other groups as well were still empty, where our commercial pads have been shifted from the layers section into their own uh, layer group. Once I've then gone and filtered the data more, so we have all our design and existing and utilities all split up, we see our layer information is a lot smaller. And if I want to turn off, on and off various information, so for example, only look at the design information. It's very simple to filter to various groups of data as you need. Other great CAD commands are we can look at selecting lines. And here we have the CAD groups added. So basically we can shift that line and rotate it as needed. I just undo those changes, put it back to where it was. Uh, we can also do the same thing with text as needed. So this allows us to better change the view of the data. If you need to create CAD objects, there's some very basic commands such as creating circles, creating rectangles, creating polygons and boundaries as you need with data. And there's also a very sim simple command to, for example, chamfer line so quickly here we can shamp for a corner of a boundary and change that as we need. If you have CAD data created in different coordinate systems you can tra use the transform objects command to merge this data simply together. If you're <coughs> creating points or creating line works there's uh, a range of snaps so we can see the green squares appear and that will then snap to that point as we're creating points. So our snap commands are arranged up here or we can select from the bottom toolbar our object snaps and there's ortho, ortho snaps which you can turn on and off as needed. In this example here we can look at doing one other very simple thing. We have a boundary here that is obviously on the wrong layer. We can see it's on the roads layer and it should really be on the pads layer. So what we can look at doing is simply right click on this building pad and say match properties and select this object here and we now have this building pad has been shifted on to 
the building pads layer with the matching linework properties as per the other building pad. Now earlier we looked at uh, moving information in the plan view. If you have a vertical profile on an alignment, it's also possible to shift the IP points on that alignment or shift the vertical curves simply by just dragging the profile in the profile view. Uh, your then dependent corridor surface will update relative to this as will your cross sections. In the surface video later, uh, we'll demonstrate how that can affect cut fill maps and volumes as well, which is a very, very powerful command. Finally, in our CAD commands, we'll look at how we can create essentially Kogo points. So there's a range of ways we can do this. We can select to create from CAD or create at intervals. So if I select the create from CAD command, I can select this building pad up in the top corner set that the points I'm going to create are going to be on the points layer and in this case I may want to find the corners of the building pad so that I can get a CSV file for these and stake them out on my instrument in the field. Push apply, I then have the points for the corners. Alternatively we have a range of other commands here which we could use or create at intervals along this line maybe every two meters I want a point and again I'll put this on the points layer. Uh, it is possible if you want to to offset these as well. Hit apply and we now have a range of points that we can use for stakeout purposes in the field. That concludes the new commands in the CAD part of Business Center. Thank you.